Right, for the benefit of this um, video, we've actually backworked my motor or generator from that pulse motor. So, in other words, we've just stripped all the windings off just to show you how we're going to or how we would have wound it. I should have done the video in the first place, but never thought about doing it until I've been asked quite a few times. So, let's start how I built it in the first place. All we did was cut this transfer out that we printed off the computer, we glued it onto a piece of MDF, and then just drilled all the holes at the various points where it's marked. Now, as you can see, the outside diameter is 85, 85 millimeters. The internal hole of this there is 55 millimeters. Each one of the holes on the outside of here is 10 millimeters. And the holes for these particular dowels is only six millimeters, but do not go all the way through. They're actually in a slightly different location to that. Um, this diagram was actually a modified version of this. We was going to rebuild it, but then decided not to bother. The other thing we've got to consider is the length of the wires and how we wind them onto this. Now, I'm not going to go messing around measuring the length of the wires. I should, I know. But what we're actually going to do is do 50 turns on each winding, and that is 80 millimeters from one side to the other. So, basically, all I've done, as I've said, is back work it for you. So, I've took the coil off the top, wound it back onto its coils or onto its bobbins and now we're going to rewind it again just to show you the way that we do it or the way that it's done for this project you will also need some neodymium magnets these are quite big and very powerful things so watch your fingers when playing with these as you can see from the video these things are about 40 45 mil and roughly 10 v8 you need four of them but make sure when you buy these that they are south and north facing or south and north facing on the opposite faces not end to end a lot of these magnets i've seen and i've bought where that is south and the opposite end is north not really what we're looking for we actually want the faces this face to be south and that face there to be north right a quick brief of um, windings the more windings you put on the more voltage you're going to get so less windings less voltage the thicker the gauge the more current you're going to get thinner the gauge the less current you're going to get not quite that simple but that's the basis the trick is balancing, and there is a mathematical formula for working it all out, is the thickness to the length. Uh, so we'll take a typical winding out of a car alternator. As you can see, stonking great thick um, cable, which is just same as this, just thicker stuff. Um, similar phase to what we're doing here, smaller version, hence the reason where it's all coming from. That is only about 38 volts, but uses electromagnetic field to energize as a magnet base, where we're going to actually be using our magnets. These have only got about 15 turns on each coil, but the, because of the thickness of the wire, we get about 36 volts, but about off the whole thing at about 65 amps. Um, with a Bedini pulse motor or any of the motors we're working on, you've got no chance of running that unless you build one the size of an house to run it right we'll go to the first phase of the three phase generator we're going to be doing pick up a roll of your wire make sure you've got a little bit sticking out and then you miss two come round in a bit fiddly this for me because i usually use two people to do this and that takes anti-clockwise like a so but you're going to do 50 turns 
on each one whatever you decide I'm doing 50 turns on this one but remember anti-clockwise most important now that's me 50 turns done on that one coil now as I said this is important we was going anti-clockwise on the next one we go from there we miss two again but this time we go in a clockwise position very very important you get that right now that's my next 50 done as you can see there. so there's 50 turns there anti-clockwise 50 turns there clockwise so obviously the next one missing two is 50 turns anti-clockwise again extremely important this is done correctly another 50 winds on so we've now got three windings on our first phase and that was anti-clockwise so guess what clockwise we go next so across to more or less where the first one was look you can see that and then we now do 50 turns again right that's the first phase of our three phase generator sorted one of the little notes very important to know which is the start and which is the end of your windings so this being the first phase of course phase one start phase one end now I'm just going to get on repeat exactly what I've done there but we'll now go from here to there and so on so we're going to do exactly the same as what we've just done here but with the other two phases so here we go uh, with the field to start and finish on and that's the field two on as you can see so that's the second field we've now got to do the third one you can see there's just enough spaces to get that on right I saw the three phases done so it's a four pole three phase alternator winding we have just done well that's the parrot cage alternator finished <laughs> Um, that's just to dig it some money left a comment on one of my uh, YouTube videos quite funny actually but there you go uh, little thing that I forgot to mention the more current you try to drag out of this in other words putting thicker windings on and less windings the much powerfuller that your motor that's going to be turning it and driving it needs to be so my aim is not to have um, too thick of a windings as many windings as practical possible you, the airspace or the vacuum between the coils and the magnets must be as close as possible again I ain't doing that for the simple reason is I'm trying to prevent a thing called cogging and trying to avoid maximum load well, I hope that's explained things a little bit to you and makes the windings of the coil although they look very complicated are obviously very simple so of course the other question that is now left will it work and how do we wire it up well, that's probably going to be the next video, I'm afraid, because I'm obviously going to be running out of time on this one now.